Hi, welcome to the channel. What you can see behind me is this here. That is Baiting's Dam. And the water body behind that there is Baiting's Reservoir. Uh, the dam was finished construction in 1956, I believe it was. And three workmen died building it. Baiting's Reservoir was built to serve the area of Wakefield. Now, a little bit further up is a 17th century bridge, which is normally covered, but because of the drought, it's now exposed. So we'll go up there and we'll have a look. Also, it's worthy of note that um, there was a body once found here. So I'll tell you about that shortly. a village here it was demolished for the reservoir people had been living here since uh, viking times i just did say it was a 17th century bridge it's not it's an 18th century bridge we are lucky enough today because it is exposed at the moment so we'll go up and we'll get some shots of that there are clues everywhere that it was a village that there was structures here of stones with toolings on them, tooling marks. So we'll get a few shots of those on our way around as well. I have just shown you what looks like would have been a pond at one time, but it's dry now. And I am stood at the water's edge. And you can see how far down that is. That is how much water has been lost from this reservoir. I've stood here because I'm hoping you can see that line down there, line of rocks. Looks like it was a boundary at one time. There is a few that's going along the edge of the, of the reservoir. So likely somebody's fields at one time. Nothing remains anymore, just washed away rocks.
So behind me is what you see, the remains of the village of Bainton. Thought to have been built in the 1700s, this bridge. It's been underwater for going on 100 years now. Occasionally gets exposed, but as you can see, the entire bridge is exposed, including where the water runs through that beck there. It was up here when I saw a video a few weeks back, so it's gone down quite a lot. Uh, I think today's the 14th of September 2022. If you look in the masonry, there are letters carved on some of the stones. I'll try and get a close up of those. Those would be the masons' marks of the guys that built this. I don't suppose they're identifiable at all these days. This bridge is no longer used. It was the main route from Yorkshire to Lancashire and it's known as the Pack Horse Bridge. But the other side, you can see the new structure. I'll put the name up of that because it's got a crazy name. And uh, we'll take some pictures of that. That is currently the new bridge. If you look close at the shots I've got of that one, you'll be able to see how high the water goes. I'll find a picture on the internet and put it next to it and see what we can see. Show you how much the water has actually come down. Hope you've enjoyed this episode please hit the like button subscribe if you feel like it and uh, I'll see you in the next one take care